Organization identifiers, or org IDs, represent corporations, nonprofits, government entities, and other organizations in Aaron's database. When Aaron issues IP addresses or autonomous system numbers, the records for those resources are linked to the appropriate org IDs and are managed by points of contact, also called POCs. Before managing org IDs, you must already have an Aaron online account linked to a point of contact record. Org IDs may be managed by multiple points of contact, and any one contact may manage multiple org IDs. When requesting an organization identifier, Aaron Registration Services will assess the information provided. Additional details may be required for processing, so please promptly respond to any communications initiated by Aaron. Upon approval, an acknowledgement message will be sent through the ticket system. To request an org ID, log in to Aaron Online. Select the link on your dashboard for Create a New Organization Identifier or Org ID under Account Snapshot or choose Your Records, then Organization Identifiers from the Navigation menu. Then, under Org Actions in the upper right corner, choose Create an Org ID. In the Create New Organization record page, enter the information for your organization. Require information is marked with an asterisk. You will need to provide a legally registered name with your org ID request. You may also specify doing business as name or DBA if you have one. Please note that your registration services agreement will need to be signed with the same legal name listed on your org ID. When you're finished entering the information, choose Next Step. Next, you need to identify the points of contact for your organization. First, you'll need an admin contact who will be responsible for managing the organization record in Aaron Online. You may only choose one admin contact per org ID, but a single point of contact can be selected for multiple roles, such as both admin and abuse. If your points of contact have already been set up, but aren't linked to your Aaron Online account, they won't show up as suggestions to choose from. Consider using a role-based contact rather than an individual to make management easier should people in those roles change. You may choose the contact associated with your user account by selecting Use This POC. You will also need to choose a tech point of contact who is responsible for the technical aspects of managing your internet number resources. This contact will also have permission to manage the organization record. To find a point of contact not associated with your user account, select Find POCs and enter the point of contact handle in the search field. After you find the contact you want, choose Use This POC. Next, you'll need to add an abuse contact who will be responsible for handling and resolving network abuse issues and reports. You can also add several optional points of contact, such as a Network Operations Center contact who serves as a contact for your networking center, a routing point of contact who is responsible for routing registry and resource public key infrastructure, or RPKI, certification information, and a domain name system, or DNS contact, who is responsible for reverse DNS and secure DNS information. After you've selected your contacts, choose Next Step. In the Public Comments field, enter any public information that you would like to be included with this org in Aaron's Who Is. For example, you can enter your Network Operations Center's hours of operation or your corporate URL. Provide documentation certifying your organization is an active business entity legally formed within the Aaron Service Region. When you're finished entering your information, choose Submit. Your request is submitted and a ticket is created. Aaron will respond to your request usually within two business days. If you do not have a signed registration services agreement on file with Aaron, you will be required to sign one and pay any fees associated with your request. We may need more information to process your request, so please respond promptly to any communications from Aaron. When you are approved, you will receive an approval message in the ticket. You may access the message sender in Aaron Online to see any updates. After your request is approved, the org ID will appear on your dashboard. Looking for additional videos, Visit our training library at aaron.net slash how-to videos to learn about IPv6, RPKI, and more.